What you got in your hands? Oh, they're empty. He was just holding his head. Now may we have our first contestant, please. Happy to have you with us. Would you tell us your name, please, and where you're from? My name is Marguerite Bellieri from Jackson Heights, New York. Miss, uh, all right. Miss Bellieri is a very busy lady. Uh, as a matter of fact, we had to schedule her first on the program tonight because she has to get right back to work. So, Miss Bellieri, if you will whisper to me, we'll show the uh, people at home just what it is that you do. Oh, yeah. And... to uh, Miss Bellieri's secret panel concerns her job and will begin the game with Betsy Palmer. Miss Bellieri, do you do this job alone? No. Uh, do you do it inside of a regular building? Yes. Not a, is it a home? No. We not, we're not sure what you mean by a regular building, but it's not well, a building. Well, I meant now, do you do this in what we would call a business building? No. Do you do this in a home? No. Do you do this, uh, would it help to know where you do this? Yes. Is it a gymnasium? No. Twenty dollars down. Bill Cullen? Gymnasium got a laugh. Now, if I could only get it together with... It's not a business and it's not a home. Is it a hall of a type? Yes. Can yes. I classify it in the same overall classification as museum, which is also not a building? Hospi no. Hospital? No. Not gymnasium. No. <laughs> See, gymnasium got another laugh, you know. Yes, I was working for <laughs> I don't know why, but yes. it did a little bit there. Restaurant? No, that's a business. That's a hall, too. It's a hall. It's, it's not a home, and it's, not, it's not a business. It's something in between. What in the world is in but a uh, church? No. <laughs> got a bigger laugh than the gymnasium. <laughs> uh, a, a buzzer there. Forty dollars down. Best? Uh, Miss Larry, let me ask you one other question. Is what you do uh, in the field of entertainment? Yes. Then would it be a theater? Yes. Are you on the stage? Yes. You uh, act? Mm, Plus not, other things. Not primarily acting. A little acting is involved, I would say. Yes. Are you on a Broadway, uh, in a Broadway play now? No. Are you performing now? Will you perform yes. after you leave us? Yes. Are you off Broadway? <laughs> Are you in the street somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> on a truck. It's <laughs> working the whole neighborhood. But uh, you're in a theater performing on a yeah. stage. Now, uh, sixty dollars down, Henry. Okay, Henry, we saw that. Are you in? Uh, are you? Are you? Hello there, <laughs> ma'am. Are you talking about the theater we're in now? Not no, this building, no. No. Oh, is it? A, is it a television theater? No. Is it a, uh, an ordinary what we call a legitimate Broadway house? No. Well, we covered that, didn't we? That's what I was playing. As I remember, in the street, no. Um, is it uh, connected with the school? No. Is there any money involved in this? Oh, yes. Ah, uh, thank goodness. <laughs> well, that's in a regular theater. Miss Bellary, will you tell the panel why you have to rush off so early tonight? Because I am going to the Metropolitan Opera tonight and sing in Fidelio. Oh. That's right. <laughs> now, some of you, if you were going to do that, you'd probably be all nervous now, but the reason that uh, Miss Blairy seems to be taking this all in stride is that she has sung at the Metropolitan five or six times a week, every season, for the past 55 years. It's 19 times. Miss, oh, hey, yes, Henry. Were, were you there Saturday matinee? Yes. I saw you. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> you know, look it. Uh, Miss Valeri, do you remember the very first opera you ever... Uh... Yes, it was Armida, and Caruso sang in it in Caruso. Toscanini. Caruso? Yes. And Toscanini was and the conductor? Toscanini conducted. Boy, what kind of a man was Caruso to know? Oh, he was very nice and very nice to work with. Did you ever talk to him? Oh, yes talked with him frequently. He used to like to wrestle with me. Wrestle? Of course. Wrestle? <laughs> wrestle, yes. Really wrestle? Of course, that was in my younger days. 
<laughs> so upon one occasion, he asked me if I would give him a kiss. And I said to myself, oh, my goodness, he doesn't... Well, I would hope so after all that wrestling. He doesn't know that I'm married. Oh, after all, he's Italian. My husband was Italian. <laughs> and just then he said, uh, where is your husband? <laughs> so then, of course, uh, I didn't give him the kiss that time, but I promised I would... I promised myself I would give him a kiss did you the next have, time. Did the next time ever come? The next time came, but I was a coward. I didn't give it to him the next time. <laughs> Cute story. Well, Miss Valeri, this is the, uh, you know very well, yes. the final season for the old Metropolitan Opera House. Uh, are you going to be moving uh, with the rest of the company to yes. Lincoln Center next year? Yes, I'm looking forward to with the rest of them. Well, that's great. Yes. I know that you don't have much time, but would you sing a little something for us tonight? I'll try. All right. Yeah. Here is Marguerite uh, Belleri of the Metropolitan Opera Company, accompanied by her daughter. Incidentally, uh, Miss Belleri has a cold tonight, but she's still going to sing for us. Accompanied by her daughter, Mrs. Elizabeth Martini, singing Andaya Music by Schubert. Thanks to the stagehands, too, for that one. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute, but first, watch this. Or watch that, too. <laughs> 